Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan. It's time to practice some. There are two more. No, actually, there are three more decks that I haven't practiced with that are still in in the Poppy Gauntlet because uh, the future Simic store post is uncertain, and you guys have 24 hours to decide it. Go to MTGO Strat and vote. Vote. Stay. In which case Simic Stormpost gets to play all its matches in advance without me revealing the result. Uh, or vote uh, disqualify, in which case Simic Stormpost is kicked out. There are no other alternatives. So please, if you have written a comment on this article, uh, please clarify if you want stay or disqualify. It's currently 4-3 to uh, disqualify. So Simic Stormpost, will it be there to represent the Temporal Fisher decks? Or should it be killed to represent what you think of the Temporal Fisher decks? Go there and make uh, cast your vote. And now we're gonna play a match of Delverfin. This is a deck I think I need less practice with than the other decks. Because uh, I have played uh, 14 matches. I'm 10-4 with the deck. And... Uh, it is not that hard to play, but I'm sure there are plenty of room for this place. And it would be unfair not to practice with it, so that means, yes, I have to play another match with a Love Train too, where I definitely need practice. Uh, this is the wrong account. Okay, Delverfin it is. I'm using Deluxe Course build because I'm a Deluxe Course fanboy. Papa! I don't own the cards in the deck. That's embarrassing. That is usually the case when something is uh, uncommon but common in another printing, such as... Oh, snap! All right, let's try that again. Pauper, best two out of three, Delver Fiend. Yes, I like to play first. Looks like a fantastic hand if I find some red mana. What are we up against? Uh, whoa, we are up against Pestilence, Curse of Chains. Uh, whoa. Okay, so Curse of Chains is gonna take my first guy. Now we are putting them like this. And then we digging crazily for red mana. But finding none. It is amazing how smooth this deck is normally uh, co uh, compared to um, Hexproof. But the second color is missing. Not for now. Uh, okay, give him the Kiln Fiend. Or not. But the blessing works, right? to take off Curse of Chains.
It does, right? But it doesn't work that well against Journey to Nowhere. Which is where that Kiln Fiend went. If I get control, if I get protection from So I should be able to cast it in response to Curse of Chains, right? In response to Curse of Chains activating. At the beginning of my turn so I can count it uh, for the Cyclops. Let's try that. Yeah, we're letting it land. He signs in blood. This is really interesting. I think it will work. But I have been wrong before. So now we cast it. We give ourselves protection from white. That will not hurt us in any other way, right? No, not protection from artifacts, but protection from white. So, but he's still tapped, but the, because the effect was not white. Uh, that was not what I expected, but then, now I know that. So I should have done it. Uh, could I have done it before? No, it was at the beginning of each upkeep. So I sh should have done it at the end of his turn. So I could have attacked, that would have been better. And here we go again! Curse of Chains and Wall of Hope. Well, there's a free attack! There is a free attack. And The Wall of Hope is dead. He goes to 21. Let's look for goodies. Finding none. Pestilence, Avon Rift Watcher, Grim Harvest, Oromancer. Or oh, we could get back the Curse of Chains. So I am casting the Cyclops, and I'm saving the Shadow Rift down for next turn when I can activate two Cyclopses. No, I'm not saving it. Of course, he will probably deal with one of them. And a Delver shows up. And I hit for 10, which must be okay. Right. So what can the Pestilence deck do? I just cut the snaps of the deck and put in three other cards from a uh, 4 0 list, from Total Hate's 4 0 list. Of uh, course, I don't own snaps anymore. Uh, this is a pretty good card to draw. Gosh. Why is it not yielding? Let's see what we find. We find Crimson Wisps. So, but that's not very useful this turn, is it? Uh, so maybe just kill the Rift Watcher. If 
but uh, most players are not playing snaps in their uh, in their Delphin builds, so I don't feel too bad about that. I thought it wouldn't affect the gauntlet at all, but it would apparently. I didn't even remember. I can't remember playing snap in this deck before. I'm buying them again once they. Uh, once all the mono blue Stormpost players actually playing in the dailies are selling theirs. Sort of out of um, energy now. Rift Watcher and Dying Evil. That was a tough way to get two life. Another Rift Watcher. Well, then I can double block. Uh, Cyclops. No, we don't want to reveal that. Wisp. But now we need to find something else as well. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. So how about just attacking with one then? Why would I do that? Well, now we can't really profitably block here, right? So we could block one there and one for the Delver. But it doesn't, so it lets, both, it lets them both die. And it's very likely that it was the best block. <laughs> Getting him to 18! That's a lot of life gain. And I am all out of ammo. Mm, pestilence will stick around for a while. Imagine if I do one damage here. If I find one... Yes. Yes, I want to reveal the card. Yes, I want to cast it. Or not for artifacts, but for white. Swing for nine, eleven, I mean. And now he can pestilence the Delver to death. Oh no, another swamp! The plot thickens. But now it's very likely that I will spend one or two turns without drawing anything. Gush felt super powerful in this deck. Mr. Ogre of Skulls, well he doesn't do a lot except... Oh, he blocks. Like a boss. <laughs> well, Kiln Fiend doesn't feel uh, like a very good idea right now. Let's keep the islands in hand so I can discard them if he goes for discard. And now we'll probably Pestilence 2 and let the Ogre survive. No, he goes for the cards! Oh no, the swamp! 
God. Well, I'm just a bolt away. But his, uh, his deck gains a ton of life. This is really tight. Bye bye Pestilence. And hello Kiln Fiend! There is a lot that needs to go right for Kiln Fiend to actually do damage here, so I don't expect him to. Yeah, he gets the Curse of Chains. And I get coffee! Pestilence. Uh, well, a soul strobe is very nice here, but it, uh, well, I pretty much have to do it, right? But he will just sacrifice the Oromancer. So it doesn't do a whole lot. It's the Wall of Hope Pestilence combo. Pretty good. That was not what I intended to do. Uh, Grim Harvest, yeah, he wins. So what do I have against that? I can't smash, I can't dispel, I have nothing. So let's do it. Okay, I'm running the Crimson Wisp, an extra Soul Strobe, and the Mutant Growth. All from Total Hates list, 4-0 list, here, from the 19th. Gush felt very strong, I'm not running guild gates, which feels right. I know that Deluxe Coif has been uh, using guild gates every now and then. I don't know what his final verdict is. Yes, I would like to play first. Oh god. Yes, I will have to mulligan. Yay, triple mulligan. Luckily, most of the decks have won when I practice with them before the Pokemon Club. Actually, every deck but one has won. But um, this will be the second loser. Five color green lost, I think. In practice. Well, uh, I have absolutely no chance here. Don't recover very well from mulligans. Uh, 
should have cast the Shadow Rifts. Castigate, so good. The glass cannon has imploded. Cardinal of the Guild Pact. Oh, I can't cast Shadow Rift on him. Mr. Delver! With a blessing to protect him. Pestilence. Hey, Mr. Delver, you are not gonna survive. Too well, are you? Uh, yes! Let's flip him! Flipping the Delver. Well, I don't want two lands, do I? So I'm uh, shuffling. Shadow rifting for an extra card. Well, I have a long way to walk with this. So I will protect myself against the second damage. Haha, Delver lives. The problem is that he's still winning the race with his Guardian. I have no chance here. So how do I stop the Guardian of the Guild Pack? He's still doing like he has three turn clock on me and I definitely don't have a three turn clock on him. Especially as my blessings does another two damage to me. Oh Mr. Rift Watcher. That's unfortunate. So how do I get out of this? There is no way out of this! Protection from black. I'm just squeezed between a rock and a hard place here. And he can even kill me now by just activating it twice. He doesn't. And I get to live another turn, but uh, that won't help me. Can't kill me this turn. But I, there is no way I can recover from this, right? So I am crushed. Thank you for watching.